All right, y'all, welcome back to the Black and Mexico podcast. I do appreciate y'all tuning in. For those who haven't been here, welcome. For those who already tuned in, welcome back. Um, make sure y'all subscribe on YouTube. It's Black and Mexico on YouTube, or you can type in Black and Mexico One. Um, if you haven't got your free guide, vi- visit blackandmexico.com and you're able to get your free guide to move into Mexico. But uh, we're going to jump right into it. So today's episode is about how I found my first apartment when I uh, moved here. In the process that i actually went through to find it um some people might have found the apartment the way i found it it was actually a funny situation how i did ended up renting it but we're going to jump into it i'm gonna try to share the video of the actual apartment that i rented so you guys can see what it looked like um and it was in Catero up in zakia zakia was the area that it was in but let me see if i can screen share this for y'all um it was a super nice place it was three bedrooms if you guys are on youtube you might have seen the the video tour video that i did of it but um let me pull this up for you all right hopefully it plays and doesn't mess up i tried it already and it, it froze up on me a little bit i don't know what's going on with this but look, while that tries to load up, so this is the, the backstory behind that place or behind me moving to Mexico, which I probably heard on the other episode. I was initially supposed to come out here for like maybe a month, not a month, like maybe four to six months. And it ended up being longer. But um, in, in the process of looking for a place, we found this place on Airbnb that was super nice. Um, we ended up booking it and then i reached out to the person that actually was hosting it and we had a conversation through that conversation i was like hey why why don't you just take it off of airbnb and just rent it to us outright because we're trying to stay here for a while like we're not trying to just do a month rent a month rental we're trying to stay here for at least six months so why don't you take it down drop the price a little bit because i believe it was up there for like maybe fourteen hundred dollars a month some something in that range it was like fourteen hundred dollars a month and i ended up getting it for eleven hundred dollars but um if this video acts right y'all will be able to see the place i don't know what's going on with it so um through that conversation he ended up taking it down he agreed to actually taking it off of um airbnb and you can see here like it was a really nice community literally um 24 7 security it had guards um 24 7 Oh, I guess that's the same thing. <laughs> 24-7 security. It had electric fences. Um, the neighbors were all pretty cool. The community itself was like a fairly new development. So they were like building coffee shops. They had like a store where you can like buy dog food. Uh, Oxo, if you know about um, Oxos up in Mexico. It had some of everything that you can actually just walk to. And it had a big, big park in the middle, which I wish I would have put this... Um, Put the video of the park in this actual video here but it was a super nice park or like fountains they had like workout equipment like you know the stuff that they put in parks for you to work out on um super nice overall but yeah so this apartment initially he put it up for around like 1400 a month on airbnb um the guy that actually put it up was the boyfriend of the owner so she was a real to herself um a colombian lady she was super nice but um they agreed to let us do it month by month and to take it off airbnb and ultimately um we broke the deal with them we gave we gave them i believe the four months rent before we even moved in i believe so like we we didn't see the place we just sent it over to them just, just based off trusting that it was um going to be okay and when we got there it was definitely a nice place but you can see this like it had the backyard um two bedrooms had uh a exit to actually get like to the backyard and then um gated all the way around the master bedroom was super nice as well um they didn't mind that i had my dog there my dog was actually pregnant at the moment so she had puppies while we were out there as well but um it was good experience now some people do they do like look for apartments on facebook which is something that we could have did as well but we seen this one on airbnb um we didn't plan on staying too, too long so we was just gonna pay whatever the monthly rate was on airbnb but 
it came to my mind to always um, try to, you know what I'm saying, bargain and see if you can get a better deal. Because most of the time, like, they're getting hit. They put that price on Airbnb a little bit higher because they have to pay fees and different things like that. So if you're able to talk to the homeowner directly, you might be able to get a discount. So just keep that in mind when y'all out here looking for apartments. Um, if you do happen to get in touch with the person on Airbnb, I mean, it's a it's a whole process just to get in touch with somebody. Y'all know how that goes. So you most of the time you have to book it before you can even message the person or before that person would even reply to you. But this was the place uh, fully furnished. Um, what else was there? It had a, a bunch of stuff for like if you wanted to do um, like parties or things in the house like the lady had table extra tables chairs different things like that um the actual apartment complex or condo community had a pool had an on-site gym had like a little event center so overall a super nice place but yeah this was it that's the story behind it i mean looked at it looked at it on airbnb talked to the guy ended up making a deal and that was that and it's probably one of my favorite places I stayed out here besides the the place that I was just living at. And that was just solely based on it being a, a condo that was upwards. You know what I'm saying? I know they call these condominiums, but that's two that's two stories. I consider a condominium like multiple stories, 10 or more. So and it had a pool on a roof. So that was definitely like a favorite spot of mine. But this one definitely had like a, a more homey feel to it. I think we we were the youngest people in that community. This this is a shot right here of the house that I was just living in the condo. And this one had a pool on the roof, um, 24-7 security as well. A lot of different benefits. But yeah, make sure you guys subscribe. I mean, if you have any questions, you can see my email down below. You can email me. And if you don't know, we are doing... Um, one-on-one -on -one consultations with people like if you need coaching or somebody to walk you through your move to mexico just reach out to me and i'll let you know what that takes uh, financially we have the courses that are being built to actually walk you through everything with movement here like from immigration um safety concerns you might want to know things about shopping i mean anything you can think of that you might want to know out here we're walking you through in that course and the course is being beta launched right now which means you're getting the discount on it but once it goes live it's going to go to full price so take advantage of that if you haven't um seen the link to the beta launch like if you're not already in our community just reach out to me via email and just tell me you're interested in the course or whatever else i can help you with but Thank you guys for actually checking this out. Short video, short podcast. I hope you found some value in it. Um, hit me up and let me know what else y'all think I should actually talk about or show you guys on these podcasts. And I'll be here for you. Black in Mexico, I'm looking forward to seeing more people moving out here um, and actually contributing to the environment, not not doing what they what they doing to the, the people here. Like a lot of people feel like we're gentrifying it. So make sure you you some in some way pay it forward or get back to people but other than that y'all have a good one see y'all next time